And in this week's Northwood Adventure, Shane Lee chills out at the main attraction of the Back to Hack Snowmobile Days. I'm a little bit run black and white. I like to waddle across the ice. Several penguins waddled across the ice of Birch Lake in Hackensack Saturday, but most of them were not wearing black and white. Costumes of all colors and styles covered the penguin plungers in varied amounts. There you go. 72-year-old Mary Parrish donned a polka dot dress for the event. They had this stupid little outfit and I put it on. <laughs> you know what the heck? We'll do anything once. Except she has not done it once. Parrish has participated in the penguin plunge for three out of its four years. This time she plunged alongside her grandson, former Minnesota wild player Mark Parrish. It's a lot easier to skate on the ice than it is to jump in the water. That was by far the most intimidating thing I've ever done, and it was worse than I thought it was going to be. Luckily, the rookie penguin plunger received a good bit of coaching from an experienced veteran in his grandmother. That You say, okay, I'm going to do it, and then you don't think about it again, because if you think about it, you can't do it. It just keeps getting colder. I, I was really scared of the initial shock, and uh, no, it's sitting in the water and waiting for everybody to get out of your way. That's the worst part. They're in a hurry to get out. Almost as brave as the people taking the plunge are those who cleared the giant hole in the ice. The sons of the event chairperson, Don Peterson, willingly cleared the ice with their completely numb hands. Oh, they're getting warm. I just asked. <laughs> there wasn't any um, under the table anything. Um, they're good kids. We have six kids, and they're always willing to chip in and help out. Years ago, we volunteered when we were young and dumb. They're outdoorsmen, and they enjoy it and um, realize the cause it's for is so awesome. All of the money raised went to the Pines Area Medical Development Center, or PAMDA. The proceeds pay the rent for the Essentia Health Clinic in Hackensack. Our team raised around $3,000. I think we did the most, or did the best, so we're proud of ourselves. Oh. Ten teams of penguin plungers brought in a record high $12,000, far surpassing the previous high of $7,000. But it sounds like PAMDA may need to find some new teams for next year. I think I'm going to have a pulled groin or something next year, hip flexor, I had a pulled heart muscle. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do that ever, ever again. Saturday may prove to be the plunge of a lifetime. Yeah! Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.